Well, hi, good morning, and thanks so much for joining me in my shop here. It's April 13th, <clears throat> 2024, and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do next with this radio. Um, I, I think the most deficient thing with it right now is actually the dial string. The dial string is the weakest thing in here. Um, <coughs> could start getting into changing capacitors but I'm hesitant in a way there's a lot of capacitors in here the radio operates to some degree anyway how much improvement would I get from doing all those capacitors probably not very much I don't really know but uh, it's a lot of work and effort and some risk involved in doing all that to, to gain what I don't think I'm gonna gain much out of it so for now I'm gonna forget about the capacitors and that sort of level of restoration I'm gonna look at the dial string here and uh, I don't know how far I'll get today I never do I never actually know what's going to happen in here for sure so I'm gonna get the radio uh, set up so I can work on the string and uh, first we'll, we'll just examine it to see the situation if it's really d difficult I don't know <laughs> of course it's difficult it's a string Okay, string it is. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the dial string on. Not worry about the uh, the other string for now. Um, hey, here it is. Oh, that's locked on. This is, uh, this top part here is actually a little a little sort of like a rod at the top. I mean, it would come off right off the end here though. But I don't need to take it off. Leave it on. That's why it's still on here. Here's the spring. Oh, that's a little tiny guy. And it's sprung to some degree. Wow, you can't. That's not much at all in terms of tension. It's like the difference between that and that is just, wow, it's not much at all. Precision. Looks like precision's required. Well, clearly this will go over the top and around the big wheel here. And after that, who knows? It's got to get down around this thing here. It's going. It's supposed to go down through these slots. I'm pretty sure. Look at this wheel. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> that's just uh, uh. wow. Okay, that's not too good. That's what's it aiming at? Is it, is it coming all the way over to here? No, this this can't. Go like that. Okay, there's another wheel down here one right here that's come across it could come out and get into this thing what, what's this angle part for is that all bent is this bent I don't know it doesn't look like it it's on a very very stiff piece of uh, metal Well, that's a weird one. Where's the string going from here? Come from this pulley into here and then down towards the, uh, the wheel. Oh. Oh, what's going on there? We gotta, we gotta get the other camera going. Okay, so just uh, bear with me a moment here while I fix the focus on this or it's going to drive us batty. Okay, now we're ready. What am I seeing? Where, where's the camera? Here it is. Sometimes I have to look at the screen, see what the camera's looking at, and I can look to see where the camera must be. That's the only thing I can find it sometimes. Okay, so I started looking down in here, and what's that string doing? So that, that's the tuning knob string.
What the heck is going on there? Is it actually embedded in the, uh, is, that, is that some kind of, is it in a trough and there's glue on top? It just looks like, it looks like it's fed through a little tiny metal hole there, like a hole in the metal. That's bizarre. Let me get something to poke with here. Well, this is a solid piece of metal across here. Okay, I've never seen anything like that before. A hole drilled obliquely, would that be the word for it? Through there. And the string fed through it. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Like, why, why would somebody even? Why would they even bother doing that? Oh my gosh! And there's all the string bundled up in there. Now this this part where this string is, this is part. Like there's more than one string in here. around. The other end appears to be going up to the pointer. Oh my gosh, really? The other end goes up into the pointer here. What are they doing? <laughs> this is crazy. And then, and then Aside from that, just back here are these slots, string slots. I would think, because when you look down in there, you can see the shaft, and it's polished up where you can see some of the string in there too. And then that's coming over to the angle pulley, and I think that that pulley is attaching to. Is there still a string on that pulley? No, there's nothing in there. No, but it's not that. There was another one. Yeah, it's the one right over here. This one here. <laughs> Pulleys everywhere. And wow. Why do these look so roughed up? Like, like they've been. It's like they've been chewed. Chewed on. Isn't that weird? Maybe they have been chewed. These are these are wood, wooden wheels. Wooden. Like normally these are plastic, but I guess this radio is old enough. This one's not chewed. Well, it's nipped, nicked. Okay, and might as well take a look at this arrangement here too. Yeah, so string goes on here, and the string goes up in the back here onto that. It's hard to spot it, but there's a piece of uh, sliding material. Sliding, a uh, sliding. Uh, what would you call that? Looks like a popsicle stick. What it looks like. Right there, it's held up tight to the front panel because that's the point where it's showing up in the window. And a. Well, I think that's all there is to see. Um, so I'm going to look now for some uh, stringing uh, instructions. Any luck, I can find some. Uh, without stringing instructions, this becomes quite a, quite a challenge. Even with the stringing instructions, it's off, often quite a challenge. But uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, let's t just look over the stringing diagram here, and then I'm going to go drink some coffee before actually attempting anything. So two two strings.
one here and one down here. Let's just ignore this one because look at it. Yikes. What is going on? Nine turns of string? What? Away. Get away up here. Now this is the pointer here, so this is the one I'm more interested in. Anyway, seven turns of string. Wow. Okay, that's never, I, you know, I, I think I might have come across a radio with four at this point, but most of them have two or three. Seven turns here. Uh, that looks like a spring. Uh, what's going on here? This looks like a spring. What's this thing looping around it? What What is that supposed to be? Two, two springs? It's got the part number here, so we can always... Uh, Look it up. That's why I wanted to uh, just look at this and then stop for a bit. So coming across, catching the top pulley, which they show is oh, okay. So this is a this is a catch hook. The string goes through the catch hook, and then it gets on this pulley, which is on a slight angle. Correct. And it goes down, and who knows what happens <laughs> down under there. Looks like it just goes straight, straight down, straight down onto the shaft here, seven times around, comes out, meets this thing, which I think is a spring, and then gets, what is this? It was the pointer shown here, and so this part is going to move this way, but this is going to go right up under here. Well, this is a pulley. This must be a pulley. Is that right? Yeah, the pulleys are numbered with these big, long part numbers. So that, that, that picks up on a pulley. Was a pulley right there? The pulley, yeah. There's a pulley right here. That's what this is. Pulley, and this is where the spring is located. What is this? This piece going around the. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Okay, I think I got. I think I got it straight. It's pretty simple looking. Uh, in fact, okay, that's good. Got. Oh, well, while I've been examining this diagram. I'm let my eyes wander over here for a while just to read stuff and whatnot and look what I spotted right there is the battery and it looks like it's tucked up under the I think this is the volume control and maybe that's why I didn't see it so um, here it is again on this diagram so it's a couple different chassis of course it's the uh, service manual here is covering a number of different versions of this particular uh, radio but the thing I have not found is the string appears to go through a hole in this shaft yeah I don't see any reference to this at all and also usually these things are designed so when you drive the pointer to the end the knob you're turning the shaft you're turning will start slipping under the string and the idea is if it doesn't slip uh, you might get a little too aggressive and you're gonna break the string and uh, that's not always the case with these. Sometimes they slip in one direction, not in the other, because it's just the way the string tightens or loosens when you turn it. Also, I have no, no clue what is going on here. Um, what are they trying to do here? Is this like a backup? You tie this over here in case the spring breaks? Or is this just to limit the string's expansion? It can't expand? There's, there's, no, there's just no comment anywhere. I can't find anything about it. If there's more in here written, then I, I just haven't found it yet. Hey, and that's another interesting thing. What about those parts that I'm trying to identify? Those got to be on here. There's one. I think this is one here. Let me zoom in a bit. So there was one. Um, boy, maybe. Well, you know, next time I have the radio uh, flipped over. Uh, I can't, I can't be sure what I'm seeing here. This might be one of them here. C2. C, is that 2 also? And then there was one more. I can't remember where. This is all looking, looks weird. But anyway, it's just the way they're trying to draw stuff. Uh, look, they're showing a capacitor hidden from view under this plate. There's a couple, look, there's one, these are resistors here. Yeah, okay, don't look ahead. Stay focused on the one thing you're trying to get done, which is the string. 
Okay, well, I don't think this is that difficult. Uh, the tough part is what to do about seven turns around here, what to do about the piece of string that's been fed through the drill hole in this thing, or am I seeing things? I, 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 it is what it looks like, I'm sure. And then the spring, a little tiny spring like that. Wow. Okay, let's look back at the radio here. A little tiny spring. Like this. I think a longer, stronger spring might be better, but because this this implies this size of spring implies you've got the length of the string exactly right, I mean, down to just a few millimeters of difference. I'll put that here where I can lose it. Now, how have they got the string in here? Looks like it's clamped in. Let's slide this right off here. Can't get it off this way. See, there's a little hook there for the string to catch through there as it's on its way to this angled wheel. Okay, so now we're forced to figure out what to do about the string that goes through. Why, why would they do that? It looks impossible to do. to be caught or jammed in somewhere. Sorry about the bad camera work here. Um, down here. There it goes. That's incredible. What is going on there? I just don't don't believe it. What did they do? Trying to pull it through, but it's, it's not going to come through at all. Oh, it is. is it moving? No, I don't think it's pulling through. Watch the other end. No, the other end's not moving. It's fixed right in. I mean, a little bit of corrosion in there, and it's backed in tight. So I think that being the case, A, I'm not going to pull this string out. B, I'm not going to shove another string through there. I don't think I'd be inclined to do that. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to have the screw head right here, too. You don't want the string dragging over the top of the screw head. So it's it's flanged at the front here, so the string can't fall off front ways, but it can fall off back ways, but it probably can't get all the way there because it's going through this pulley here, which is constraining it. And, and the one up above isn't that far away either. Now if you look at the lineup on the two of them, yeah, it would look like the string would come down go around working its way to the back and then go off on this this pulley uh, I guess I guess all the way back all the way back across oh, but the uh, magic eye is right there and what did it well the, the diagram will help us figure that part out well I'm just gonna nip nip the string and leave leave a bit in there I don't know what else to do maybe give a really hard pull on it yeah why don't I do that if I'm gonna break it what the heck I'm going to cut it, what doesn't matter. Because I really want to get it off of here. I'm going to cut it right here. So I can get the pointer off. Hey! There's a stopper.
So it looks like they literally have a uh, screw clamp on the string. That's very unusual. That's not common. Much more common to just weave the string through some posts and whatnot. Okay. String here. Now I try pulling this out. Bit me. Dang. No, there's no movement at all. Yeah, there we go. Kind of where I thought that was going. Yeah, well, not a lot of strength in that string. Didn't break right at the edge here. I'm going to cut that with a uh, razor blade, I think. Still left a little bit sticking out, but soft and floppy, it won't matter. Now there's more string back there. What's that string for? What, uh, it's like, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, when, when does this pulley get involved in things? And the shaft goes all the way back here. There's another string wrap here. It must come up through here. Let's look at that string diagram again. So we have the angle one. So this is not showing. So it's this part. Okay. Um, do I need to study this at this point? Yeah, so this is a string wrapped on the... Th th this is the shaft. This is farther into the radio. This is the area I'm looking at wrapping the string on for up here. That's this area. This This area is this area, I believe. And then uh, we have a very difficult to figure out string thing here. But don't have to worry about it because uh, all that is for later. That's uh, and, and what is it actually moving though? What, what, what is it? <laughs> what is this here for? What do they call it? Is there a name for it? Band change thing? Well, it's got to be moving the band switch. So, again, what are you doing looking at this, Jim? Come on, stay focused on the one thing you want to get done. The, uh, the band change thing... Yeah, I don't know. I, don't want to, I, I won't even finish the sentence. Okay, uh, so we need to get the string and lay it in in accordance with this. I think I'm going to print this diagram and have it on the bench in front of me here while I'm working. I thought maybe I'd look through my uh, Sam's book, uh, Dow Chord Stringing Guide book. Look, chord diagrams, 1938 to 1947. That's a lot of radios. This is a long book. Um, one buck. So... Uh, in here, uh, it's a long write-up on the engineering of strings. It's really quite interesting if you read through this. There's a lot. Of course, engineers can make a lot of things. And then if we come down here in the index, we can find silver tone uh, somewhere down in this here area. This looks like it here. Here we are, silver tone. Silver tone starting here. But these numbers, uh, I can't relate to the radio I have. But I noticed that this uh, diagram number 472 comes up a lot. So I thought, wow, why not take a chance? And we'll take a look and see what 472 shows. That's way late in the book here, way down in this here area. Here we are, four, so look at 472. Voila, look at that. There it is. 
it's exactly the same diagram. Uh, so we're you know, not going to gain anything from looking at this, but here it is in the book. Well, okay, so uh, it was fun, useless, but fun, and uh, um, that's it. Okay, so I'm planning out my approach to this. Um, you notice the spring is located out here, so maybe this is a good place to kind of kind of start out here um, with the end of the string here, roughly. First step is to kind of lay it in and get an idea of the length of the string. I don't want to cut it off my uh, off my spool until I've got a good idea of the length because uh, I have a habit of cutting things about one centimeter too short and <laughs> finding out later then you got a piece of string too short no good I don't want that to happen plus I don't want to waste a bunch of string even though oh, what oh my god I've had this for 10 years or something and look how much is left on it many many radios left on it so don't worry about wasting strength but that's just the way I am Actually, it's because of my parents. My parents were uh, very, very uh, careful with their money. Let's put it that way. Okay, so we come along. We go under the wheel, this wheel down here, and then we go around the shaft. So that's a problem. If I have the end out here and I'm trying to wrap it around the shaft, I'm holding the spool, the big spool. I'm not going to wrap that spool around the shaft. So it looks like I probably have to start with the string kind of out here do the wrap, get that in place, make sure there's enough string to come over this way, and then feed it very simple, up and through, it's very simple, around, and then the whole difficulty will be uh, length of the string and the type of spring I put in there. Now they have a very small spring, and maybe that's because a big spring is going to crash into either this wheel or that wheel. It's possible. Um, as you could, the uh, position of the pointer only has to be settled when the string is finally in and tightened up and it's working right then you can attach the uh... oh whoa 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 wait a minute yes you can yeah you can drop this on the, the string yeah drop it on the string clamp it down of course and that that's an involved process uh, positioning the uh, maybe not involved process but it's something you gotta get this on the right spot on the string okay I think that's the plan um, Seven times, right? Not nine, seven. Seven turns of string. Wow. Well, I think I'm just gonna, because this is kind of start and don't stop once you start. I think I'm gonna take a little break just before I get going. And seven, that's about that much string I gotta kind of get on around this, this wheel here. Oh, which way? Which way? Around there. Is it, is it obvious from here? Oh my gosh, it's not obvious. So what happens if you uh, wind the string the wrong way on the control? Then when you turn the knob expecting the pointer to go this way, it will go the wrong way. Uh, so I think I can think my way through that. I think I can think. I think I can think. Okay, I've run out of all my delay tactics, and now I got to actually do this seven times around, and we've got to do this the right way. So, if I'm turning the knob this way, I want the pointer to go that way. I want the return string to go this way. I want the return string to be taken up. So go under. Go under. Let me go under. Let me start here. And then I gotta somehow grab it and pull it up from underneath. How am I gonna do that? Okay, I gotta do it seven times. Oh my gosh, really? Is there a smarter way of doing this? And I wonder if that hole you you feed the string into the hole. Turn this seven times fetch the end out of the hole and carry on. The, the hole in here was just a method for the person who had to string this in the factory to do it just a little bit quicker. 
because this is this is a monstrous thing to try to do. Is, is the far end open under there? No, the far end is tied in a support here. It's because I was thinking I could do seven of these and then slide it up. Even that would be a, a disaster. Well, I don't know. Just go at it, I guess. I can't think of any fancy, tricky way of doing this. One. <laughs> Seven times. Really? Well, I think I'm probably going to stop the video while I do this because the, the level of damage to my reputation is to, I can't tolerate it here. Even my stomach's growling, even. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy how I'm doing this. Uh, can I stand this up in another way? Because I, I need to get access to top and bottom here. I can stand this a different way. The way I had it. under here and up here at the same time. I don't know if this is any better. Wow, this is a monster. So because of gravity now, the string is dropping down onto the thin part of the shaft. It's off the fat part. If I get seven turns around it, I have to get the seven turns onto the fat part. And if they're all pulled tight, they're never going to get on the fat part. So this is actually a problem doing it like this. Unexpectedly. Well, I could hang it over the edge of my bench a little bit and uh, get my hand up under it. Maybe that's a better way. transformers here so no she's not gonna fall okay this is good I like this this is a better approach here I think because I got hands under and hands over where did my tool go I've lost my tool here it is that's another thing you don't want to hear men yelling I've lost my tool that's a uh, Sounds bad. Okay, here we go. This is number two coming. Oh my gosh, what a disastrous thing this is. Number two. Oh, we got, oh, 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 careful. Went around the wrong shaft down there. There we are. So that's two. Two. three. Four more to go. That's three. That's four. I wonder how they decided seven was right. I wonder if they tried six and tried eight, you know, tried different numbers and then ended up saying, well, it's got to be seven. Uh oh, I've lost count. <laughs> I said too many numbers. Once twice, three times, four times, so this is five times.
six is coming. That's six times. Wow, you could not use thick string on this uh, because seven times around with very thick string, and I think you'd run out of shaft. This is thin string. This is thinner than the. Uh, So this is seven. Now, is this six or seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess you'd have to call it six. Part of uh, having success with doing these strings is maintaining tension on the on the uh, maintaining tension on the string sufficient that it doesn't come off pulleys and stuff like that. And that's tricky. That's very tricky to maintain the tension. I'm not really doing that. So this is supposed to come over here like that. Hopefully the string will straighten itself out. And this is supposed to go all the way up to here. Well, anywhere in here, really. Um, when, when does this drive the... Uh, oh, I got it now. I finally got it. Okay. <laughs> so the string I'm doing drives only the pointer. And the other string back here is going to drive this piece right here. This is the tuning piece. And that's that weird thing in the diagram. That's this piece here, this weird piece here. Okay. Good. Yeah. So again, looking at this, we come. It's just not really clear whether you go under or over, but it must be obvious. It's not obvious whether you go under or over. Okay, so if we went I'm gonna pull this through a whole bunch. <laughs> Okay, if we went over the top, I guess we go we go over the like the magic eye is in the way here. So in this arrangement, we're barely in this wheel, and we're supposed to come up the bottom and that yeah, I can't go over the eye, it must go under the eye, it must go under. Under the eye. Sounds like a bingo thing, doesn't it? Under the eye? under here but actually the spring is attached in, in this area so you know, I've got to get this out of the way here this is not working out anymore this is in a bad this is in a bad spot because this other end where's the other end this is the other end the other end is here what's it doing down under this thing <laughs> it's supposed to come up here okay and I'm just trying to avoid cutting the string until I have a better idea of what I'm, what I'm up to here. So it's it's the one that's on the front. The one that's on the front. Does it does it? I can't even finish my sentences. Does, does it come up this way? It go on there. I think that's how it goes. It comes up this way. Focus on that little giz gizmo there. Continues all the way. Oh, what happened? How did I end up with this? That's okay. That's okay, isn't it? Did I get the wrong end? I think I got the wrong end here. I got the wrong end. I'm sure you got it. <laughs> I think I got the wrong end. Oh boy, when I spun this, I did a bad thing. There. So, so this one's not supposed to be up here. It's supposed to be down there. Well, I think this will straighten out as on its own as uh, as it gets worked. Okay, leave enough string 
to go all the way over to here. Now we're coming up, coming over here, going in the clip, and continuing along. I've got to play a lot of string out here. Here and then come all the way around to here and then come down and find the other end. There's the other end. Okay, did I get everything kind of hooked up here? Kind of did. So this should give us a string length now. So a string length. Go on there. Don't, don't get too excited now, Jim. We're getting up with everything coming off. Who said that? Okay, so we go like out like this. So that's got a fair bit of excess string in it, I believe, because I'm coming up over top of this. And I'm not on this wheel here, but that's not going to take up too much string. Oh, that just fell off. Something just fell off. What happened? Everything looks good. Oh, I dropped the string itself. So that's the measurement. So I'll have enough string if I cut it here, I fit in a spring, tie knots, and uh, I, won't, I, won't, I won't have insufficient string. Where's my cutters? I'll use these. So I'm going to add a safety amount and cut it. Oh my god, what has he done? And he's cut the string. I've committed now. Committed. Actually, people have told me I should have been I should be committed a long time ago. But okay, I'm gonna take a little break, and we'll do the spring part here. Oh, it took me a long time to find these springs. <laughs> they ended up being exactly where I'd left them, but when I looked at that spot, I missed them, and so I spent a long time. Did that ever happen to you? I spent a long time looking all over the place. Finally, went back. And sure enough, there it was. That one's too small. Most of these springs are way too big for it. Now that looks pretty good. Um, and a little bit of a longer one. This is probably too fat. Maybe here. Here's one. Okay. Now I got a bunch now to look at. So the problem here for me is if I put too long a, a spring in, it's going to hit here or or hit down here because it's it's too long. And the initial, the original spring is very short, although it's been pulled uh, out in length. It's been uh, sprung. So here's one out of a radio. That's you know this is typical of what you find in a radio. Pretty strong. It's a little shorter. Not as strong, but that's that's getting more similar to this. Then we have the super shorty guy. He's pretty stiff. Whereas this is really this is really loose. So I don't need a lot of tension in this part of the system because all that's happening is the pointers being moved back and forth. Uh, that's that's all you're fighting with. It's easy. It won't take much tension to uh, to get that working properly. You know, it was, why seven times around just to drive a pointer? That's weird to me. Okay, what's the process here? So um, I'm going to want to shorten up this uh, string. I can do this by taking this off here and putting it there. And then I can tie this fairly closed and then when I pull it back up it'll pull the spring out. That's the idea. Um, doesn't really matter. The first the first end, as long as they don't consume too much string, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do one loop here. Don't consume too much string. Oops. 
consuming a lot of string here. Way too much string consumed here. Pull this way out here. Still consuming a lot of string. Okay, that's a single knot. That's a start. It's a great big gigantic loop, but it's a start anyway. So what I would want to put for a start with a small, smaller spring. Put it on. Somehow. I gotta put on my magnifiers, I think. See, I can't see. And I just pulled the loop away. Oh, phooey. Now there's a knot in the string. You can't have a knot in these strings. The knots will run up on the wheels. Give you trouble. Oh boy. out do another loop try not to use so much string this time because I used way too much he only ended up with a single knot which was as you can see it didn't work Doctor, the patient is bleeding to death. Don't rush me, don't rush me. Okay, so I got a double knot. Probably won't slip off now. I didn't consume too much string. Okay, now we'll put this on here. There. there. Okay. One end done. Now the other end is more critical because we're talking about setting the length of everything. So let's put this through here. What's this string doing? Let's 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 move everything over. Everybody over here. Okay. can't tell from the diagram whether it should be over the top or not. I think it should be over the top. Like this. Not much holding it there. And it's going to be pulled tight. Yeah, it looks like the way it should be. Looks like I have lots of strength. But I still have this off. I have this on. This is wrapped. That's in place. I have lots of extra strength. 
Now, how, how to tie a knot here that's going to be tight. So I'm going to knock this off the back of this wheel. I'm going to drop that down in the mechanism. Pull up the other string. A certain amount of guesswork is going to go on here. So I have lots of going to guess at it. Well, maybe I don't have to guess at it. Maybe I can clamp it with my fingers and we'll put these on and see what we got. Not much of anything. We can go much, much shorter. Not like that. Okay, clamp again. Now I got it really tight. I'm in a bad spot here. Feels pretty good just like that. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, tie a knot. Tighten it up now. Wow. How are we doing? Looks good. This is the only tension up here. I'm going to pull this tight without stretching the spring. Oh, son of a gun. I can't pull it tight. I've got a knot there. <laughs> hey, man, who put that knot there? Pull this tight. Come on, you can do it. Don't, 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 don't. Don't be moving. very close to getting this so that's why I'm uh... okay let me pinch it and check it for tension If you're hearing some clicking in the background, that's a ham radio uh, squelch opening and closing. I'm not sure why it's doing it so much on the uh, on the local uh, ham repeater. They have a radio in here that's uh, I just keep the volume down when I'm on air, so to speak. That's pretty good because I hadn't even got it on this wheel. Okay. But if I turn the volume up, you, you'd hear guys talking or whatever they're doing. They're doing something funny there because the uh, squelch is clicking a lot. Oh, that sounds great. That's the sound of success. Hey. I know that song. Okay, what's going to happen down here? Now, the string might bung up on itself the first few times around. It might take a little bit to set it. Okay, so we're all the way here. Uh, we really need the pointer. I'm gonna put a mark on the string. I'm gonna watch where the mark goes. So, did I? So right now the pointer is all the way here. I'll assume it's about here. 
Where does that end up? Go the other way. Oh, I think what's going on here? Yeah, the other way, the other way, Jim. The other way is the other way. Nice and smooth. So uh, nothing is stopping the string. I could just I can just go around and around and around with this. Bring the spring rail right, come right over. I could do that. But that's not really the idea. The idea is, is the string or the knot interfering when the blue spot gets here? And the answer is no. I go the other way. Until the blue spot gets about here. No. Feel, feels like the string is wrapped on itself, though, at this point. So we're going to help it out a little bit here. Because maybe it just needs to be set right once. So I'm going to push it this way. It's going to come right off. Oh, it can't come off. There's a uh, there's a ridge there. Okay, so I'll keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, it's going over itself here. And we the blue mark has got here. Okay, uh, then we'll what we'll do is we'll push this one this way a little bit. Just trying to make sure the string is not wrapping over top of itself. Maybe if we get them out, out a ways. Oh, where are we? Oh, in the middle. They're only in the middle, man. What are you gonna do? Better tool. Let's hook the string. This should be lined straight up. It kind of is now. Straight. Now the string's just going to go over top of itself. There's, there's, there's no, there's no distance from here to here. So this string has no choice to, uh, you know, travel up and down. It's not. See, this one's got a long piece here. So you could, the string can move around on there. So that's what's going to happen. It's going to go on top of itself, no matter what I do. Why did they want seven turns in there? I don't know. But in any case, it's, it's working good. I put the pointer on, but at this point, I, I don't know where to... Yeah, at this point, I don't know where to put the pointer. Uh, there'll be some kind of mark, either on here or on the, uh, on the glass on the radio. Which, When we get to the alignment stage, then... Uh, but I could put the pointer on here roughly. Why don't I do that? That would be a good idea. We'll put it on roughly. And what did he do with the pointer? Isn't there a pointer leaner? I thought I'd put it on top of here. The pointer. Well, I picked it up and looked at it. Then what did I do with it? Oh, who knows? Okay. Break time. Break time now. I'll find the pointer later. Yeah, it's great. I got a string on. Didn't break a sweat. So uh, there is nothing stopping this string from just going round, around, around, around. But the same shaft that is driving the pointer string is driving this thing here. Holy smokes! And this is where the limits will be encountered because this this piece is the actual tuning capacitor bracket, if I can call it that. Uh, lever. It's called a lever. Th this piece is going to be restricted in motion. It's going to go so far one way, so far the other way, and stop. And when it stops, you won't be able to turn this, and you won't be able to move the pointer any further. So I can probably position the pointer now temporarily on the string. I can always move it later. Um, but nothing's being tuned in this radio. <laughs> I just, I just kind of realized the pointer is not going to tune the radio. I got to get this guy done before I can tune this radio. I'm not going to take that on today. I think I've you know, had good success. I better stop now. And tomorrow we'll look at this other string and try to get that one on if I can. Okay, that's good. 
Well, thank you very much for watching again today. Um, you know, doing these strings, it's fiddly. Uh, it's about keeping your cool. Uh, th this particular one I did was not super challenging, but I think the next one is going to be very challenging. Uh, you can lose your religion doing this stuff for sure, so we don't want that to happen. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I think I'm headed for another rainy day here, unfortunately. See ya.